Hi, everybody. I just wanted to introduce you to the Invasive Species Unwanted poster. Um, so going to your Google Classroom and looking everything up on that classwork page or tab, that's the best one to look at. Um, last time you saw the lecture about invasive species, hopefully you watched that. It was amazing. Um, but in particular, I'm guiding you back to this section because we wanted to use the um, invasive lionfish species videos as our example for um, completing the unwanted invasive species poster. Um, I'm just giving that as an example so we have a clear idea of what we need to do there. So when you do click on um, that portion, um, what will come up is a template. So a template means that it's blank um, for you to be adding information in and it's specialized for you. What you'll see here um, are boxes that you can type your text into. Right now I have the example of a scotch broom picture and a scotch broom map. Uh, just because that's a local invasive species that you know of. And um, so whatever species you choose, notice at the bottom here, it says research an invasive species in a particular ecosystem or location in the world. So it does not have to be California. It could be anywhere. It could be the Burmese python in Florida. It could be invasive species uh, on the Nile River in Egypt. Uh, whatever interests you, um, we are going to try to investigate more about that particular ecosystem. So since you have the option, you should choose something that you are interested in. So using our example of the lionfish from the videos, um, the first part talks about the origin. So where did the species come from? So all these invasive species are native to somewhere. It's just they were moved and put in a new location where now they're taking over everything. So... <clears throat> In the case of the lionfish, they talked about the lionfish being native to the South Pacific, where they had natural predators and things to keep their population in check. So I would spend some time describing that. Or if I didn't get that from the video, then I would do some looking things up on the internet to find some additional sources. When you find additional sources, notice that on the left-hand side here, you do have a second slide that I made for you to do our good... Um, you know, using our academic skills and actually citing our sources is really important, especially in high school. Um, so whatever sources, email, or excuse me, <laughs> website addresses you use, please copy and paste them onto this slide and just type in what the title is, maybe National Geographic, Burmese Pythons, for example, and type that in there. Um, just so you're keeping track. Also, it helps if you wanted to go back and uh, look at those websites again. All right, so going back over here to our unwanted poster. <laughs> so crimes committed. So in the case of the lionfish, there were a lot of things discussed. So they talked about how the lionfish um, reproduce really rapidly. They gobble up all the reef fish that are important for um, the coral reef ecosystem. So that's definitely a crime they're committing. Um, <laughs> what they also do is um, they outcompete other native species. So yes, they're gobbling up other fish, but they're removing the fish that would be available um, for those other fish to eat that are native to that spot. Um, this is also creating an economic problem because humans rely on fish, especially coral reef fish. So this is creating an economic problem too. So those are some of the crimes committed um, for that particular invasive species. Uh, the getaway vehicle explained how the species was transported to the area. So in the one of those videos, it showed um, a map of how the lionfish are spreading throughout the whole Caribbean. But they do indicate that originally those lionfish were aquarium pets that were released into the environment. That was a really bad idea. Um, so in that case, that's the getaway vehicle. That's how they were introduced. So kind of like the shrimp in Tahoe, the shrimp were introduced for uh, fishing purposes, um, for um, providing feed or bait for uh, fishing. Hideouts, this is where you would find, um, you know, like a Google image of a map showing where it's taking over. And then if seen, notice how they're doing fishing derbies and stuff to try to capture those lionfish. So that's how we'd set up our unwanted poster. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.